Well, Hikari United had walked into this match off the back of a 9-0 win over Kiwi FC, Ramon Apadio. Igniting their attack as early as the first minute. Apadio with these beautiful balls. Straight through the heart of the Koloala defense. On more than one occasion forcing Sylvester Maino out of the penalty area. It wasn't until uh, Mahari Kaipu was one of the first of her darting runs. It wasn't until the, uh, the 40th minute. And there'll be many Elipes awaiting. Kaipu decided to go alone. Padio soon after had taken a free kick directly at Mainu. In the second half, Hikari heading in with a single goal lead before this break. By Nani Elipas. And actually it was uh, Mecklen Butubu. And Kaipu, not again on more than one occasion, well she held back twice, putting between her feet be before laying it on for Butubu who smashed that to the left of Sylvester Mainu. until afterwards when I, this was perhaps one of the best saves of the tournament. It was Fawai Sambiru. Been outstanding for Koloale. And Kaipu out in the second providing such a threat before being brought down taking this penalty in the 64th minute and basically rolling it in to Mino's right Kaipu again had brought the crowd on her feet but it was this goal by Ramona Padio the great individual effort she turned past Lisa Solo and Kaipu Dying in stages. Fact, it was in the 90th minute when the match intensity has continued. And Torita Delay calls an end to this afternoon's match between Hikari United of PNG and Koloale Football Club of the Solomon Islands. Scored one for her own. At the end of it, despite the firepower possessed by Koloale, Hikari United, the home side, far too strong. Well, it was a one-sided night. Hikari United dominating in everything. And while she may be disappointed, or otherwise, I can easily say it was a great performance for Crystal Bacolo, the head coach for Koloale FC.